line in the first lecture in the first lecture how many were you there what me first lecture how many were you were there um bas itne itne hi jante ek moh nikal gaya So we will wind up today. First of all, good morning, all of you. Good, good morning, ma'am. Okay, thank you. We continue with the reproduction in animals. Yes. We still have a certain slides to finish, isn't it? development of the embryo hello yes ma'am we have finished with the chapter don't you think so a certain slide are remaining have done the test baby boys Yes, ma'am. Have you done the test, you baby? See, I've got a record already. Just for checking whether you know where we were. I'm asking you. I'm just asking you whether we have done the test, you baby. See, yes or no, at least. Yes, ma'am. We done that. The old term was test tube baby, and what is the new term? In vitro fertilization, IVF. What is the new terminology of test tube baby, beta? IVF, in vitro fertilization. Okay. Have you heard about it? Have we done this? Again, I am asking you. Why we do in vitro fertilization? Let's read. Please read with us. Please read. What happened? Boys, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Start reading. Can you hear me, Peter? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Start reading, Peter. Start. Please start reading. Yes. Start reading. Ma'am, can I read? Yeah, sure. Test tube baby. In some women, ovid of a block. Women. This woman. Are women. unable. Women, women, women. I've been correcting you so many times. You have to stop. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. In some In women, some... ovidocs are blocked. Yes. In some women, ovidocs are blocked. These women are unable to bear babies because their sperm cannot their... the egg. See, better when I stop you, you have to stop. Yes, and redo it again. Don't continue with wrong doings, please. Okay. Yes. Some it is bear babies. Yes. Are unable to bear baby because sperms cannot reach the egg for fertilization. 
In such cases, doctors collect freshly released egg and sperms and keep them together for a for, for a few hours for IVF. In case fertilization occurs, the zygote is allowed to develop for a uh, guess for about a week, about a week, and then it about a week, and then it is placed in the mother's uterus. Complete development takes place in the uterus, and the baby is born like other babies. Babies born through this technique are called test tube baby. Understood now. What is in vitro fertilization (IVF)? Read it, beta. IVF in vitro fertilization the process by which a cell is fertilized by sperm outside the womb in vitro. Womb or body? Outside the womb or body? Okay. The uterus is called as womb. It should be. So what is happening over here? The oviducts are blocked. What are the oviducts? Fallopian tube. So the sperm is not able to reach the egg. Understood now? So there is no fertilization. So what doctors do? They collect egg from the female. They collect sperm from the female, and they fertilize it outside the body. Hope you understand. So if at all fertilization takes place, a zygote is developed. A zygote is formed. Then it is allowed to develop for seven days in the test tube or in the petri plate. And then this is placed, this zygote, the developing zygote is placed in the mother's uterus or womb. Then the body, the baby starts developing, the zygote starts developing into embryo, the embryo will start developing into fetus. And the way, the or, uh, you know, like how a, a common mother bears a child, the same thing will happen. But only thing is that the fertilization is occurring outside the body, and then it is implanted inside the body of the mother, and the baby is delivered normally. Hope you have understood. So this technique is called as test tube baby or IVF, in vitro fertilization technique, where the fertilization is taken outside the body. Let's say the production of frogs. Yes, read better. I think we have done this, isn't it? What do you say? Boys? Yes, read better. Where is Mama the bus? Is it there? Hello. Start reading. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Is Mama the bus there? First. No, I see. What I am asking is no, the external fertilization. Have we done this? The production of frogs. I'm asking you. No, Let me check. You may have not done, right? Fine. Okay, read it again. Yes. Start reading. Reproduction in frogs during spring or rainy season. Frogs and toads move to ponds and slow flowing streams. When the male and female comes together in the water, the female lays hundreds of eggs. A layer of jelly holds the eggs together and provides protection to the eggs. As the eggs are as the eggs are laid, the male deposits sperms over them. Each sperm swim randomly in water with the help of its long tail. The sperms contact with the eggs. This result in fertilization. So the animals lay hundreds of 
eggs and release millions of sperm all the eggs do not get fertilized this is because the egg get exposed in water movement wind and rainfall also there are other animals in pond which may feed on eggs okay right so understood how the eggs are laid yes yes ma'am so male and female frogs that come together so then later the female will lay hundreds of eggs and these are hold or these are held in jelly like substances so that it gives protection to the eggs okay when eggs are laid and later the male frog will lay sperms it will give sperms on them now each sperm will start try to fertilize all these eggs it can move with its long tail and when it comes in contact with eggs they fertilize okay now look at the rate of its survival we know the millions of uh, sperms and hundreds of eggs are laid in water all the eggs don't get fertilized why some of them are eaten up by other uh, animals and due to water movement many eggs are uh, swept away okay because and they are exposed so some becomes uh, they are not fertilized so they become sterile so these are the ways that all the eggs are not fertilized you see over here this is adult frog it is laying eggs over here can you see this eggs right and from eggs what we get beta tadpole what are we getting tadpole and this tadpole will become a froglet a baby frog and from a baby frog it will become an adult frog this is the life cycle of frog and this life cycle is known as meta more to sis understand what it is known as metamorphosis because see the baby does not look like the frog does it look like the frog no so there is a remarkable difference between the young one and the adult frog over here you can see the frog is sitting on millions of eggs as you see not hundreds but millions of eggs all these are black spots on eggs this is a female frog which is sitting on the uh, uh, eggs which is laid by by it now let's see what is metamorphosis please read please read beta please read start reading beta hello yes ma'am start reading as soon as you see the slide you should start reading better okay i need not ask you again yes ma'am metamorphosis 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 is the biological process of trans transforming a larva into an adult this involves relatively sudden and abrupt changes in the animal structure frogs and insects are example of organism showing metamorphosis okay fine so what is metamorphosis as the name suggests meta a huge morphosis change a huge change in morphology the huge change in physical features physical characters is called as metamorphosis it's a natural process a biological process when a caterpillar or a larva changes to adult okay so there's an abrupt change there's a sudden change in the animal's features in the animal's morphology examples are frogs and insects so one we saw just now is frog and insects i taught you in seventh standard regarding the silk worm remember remember silk worm the cocoon the larvae of the caterpillar it looks ugly and then it becomes a beautiful insect or the silk moth yes or no 
हेलो यस सुन नो बेटा बॉयस तो वी हैव गट टू examples two organisms which shows metamorphosis one is frog the other one is insect that is butterfly uh, moth okay now we come to viviparous and oviparous animals first we see what are oviparous animals please start to read animals which lay eggs outside their bodies are known as oviparous animals all birds frogs lizard crocodiles etc belong to this group animals which give birth to young ones are known as viviparous animals animals like lions tiger dogs and human belong to this group fine so as say oviparous animals Which organism should come to your mind? Hen, right? Hen. Just remember hen, and you will understand. Oviparous animal, and viviparous animals are human beings. Any problem? Just understand the example. Just learn the example, and everything you will understand. So when I say the oviparous animals, that means they lay eggs outside the body. Yes, outside the body. So they are known as oviparous animals, and eggs inside the body. Animals and human beings are the examples of viviparous animals. Now over here, you can see this oviparous. Can you see this? The hen. Just remember this. Yes, ma'am. The eggs are outside the body. Yes or no? So it is sitting on yes, the eggs. So what is this called? Is incubation. There is in this case. Can you see the dolphin, the baby dolphin inside the mother's womb? So this is the dolphin. Yes, can you see this dolphin? This is the baby dolphin inside yes, the mother's body. Okay, fine. So this is viviparous. Even we were inside the mother's body, isn't it? So we are viviparous. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So animal, fish, bird. They are oviparous because they are producing eggs that develop outside his body. That is oviparous, right? And viviparous, the animals, the embryo develops inside the female body. Over here, you can see this: the animal is developing inside the body. It's developing. The baby yes, is developing inside the body. So it's a baby dolphin. Okay. Now we come to clone. You must have seen some pictures, some movies. You get the robotic movies. Yes, you get clones. All look alike. All robots look alike, and you can produce thousands of uh, clones from one body. That is called as cloning, where sexual reproduction is not involved. It is done asexually. Yes, please read. Dolly the clone. Dolly was the first cloned mammal and is genetically identical to its parent ship. Cloning is creating an exact copy of biological entity. A clone is created by inserting the complete genetic material for a regular body cell from a donor into a recipient. Sheep are viviparous animals and so propagate their offspring sexually. Sir Len Wilmot from Roslyn Institute in Edinburgh, Scotland, created Dolly. So what did they do? So what was the first cloned mammal we got? It was an experiment. Remember that it was a research. So Dolly yes, was the first cloned mammal. Dolly was the first sheep which came to be called as the first clone. Why it is cloned? Because it is genetically identical. See, if we do, if in our sexual reproduction, uh, are we uh, look a bit similar to both the parents, but we don't look alike parents. Do we look alike parents? Because we get certain features from father and certain features from mother, so we are a combination. 
but we are genetically we are not alike our parents but in cloning the baby is genetically alike parents this is the difference okay so a clone was created which was a biological uh, biologically uh, exact as parent what did they do they took the complete genetic material as a chromosome from the body cell from a donor from a parent to a another body okay so for example uh, from my body uh, one chromosome has been taken or the genetic material is taken and is inserted into another body okay hello hello and as sheep they are very parents animal that means they deliver the babies okay and they propagate their offspring sexually so we get the multiplication of the clone you understand so it's not that it is not asexual reproduction yes. rather but it's a type of asexual reproduction but it is not asexual reproduction remember that because it is inserted into mother's for example we take the clone we take the uh, chromosome from the parent from a father let's say from the father and we inject it into the mother Do you understand? So that chromosome is gone to the mother. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and the baby which will be delivered will be the copy of the father. Got my point? Because that genetic material is inserted into the mother's body. Hope you have understood. So we will have the yes, clones later. But remember, these clones don't work well. They die fast. See, this is clone. This this is the clone. This is Dolly, the first sheep. But it doesn't live for long. It dies very soon. Now in India, even the cloning was done in India. Where? Yes. Please read. World's first clone buffalo was in India. Scientists at India's National Dairy Research Institute in the Indian state of Haryana produced the first clone buffalo back in February 6, 2008, using DNA from the ear of an adult female. Though unfortunately, it died of pneumonia soon pneumonia. after its birth. It's pneumonia. So pneumonia. So this is the buffalo. Does it look like a buffalo? No. This is what we are doing. We should not do that. We are, you know, playing with the nature and coming up with uh, different uh, abnormalities. Yeah, this looks like an abnormal buffalo. Goat, ma'am. It's like a goat. Looks like a goat exactly. It doesn't look like a buffalo. So this is what happens. So from where it had taken the uh, cloning. it was taken from the ear of an adult female dna was taken from the ear of an adult female can you imagine and from that ear okay from that chromosome we got a clone of buffalo so now we have come to the uh, close of this chapter Chapter number eight. Yes. Uh, chapter number uh, nine. That is the production in animals. Now we will do certain uh, a bit of revision. Uh, I hope you will not mind. Okay, we'll do some revision yes. today so that we can wind up this chapter in just fifteen minutes. We'll take fifteen minutes and we'll finish it up. Why the production is. Uh, is necessary say why reproduction is necessary beta tell me
My reproduction is the three. If it is, if there is no reproduction, what will happen? There will be no life. There will be no life on earth, in water, anywhere, if there is no reproduction. To propagate the organism, reproduction is a must. Isn't it? You can you describe the process of fertilization in human beings? Yes, but can you try? Yes, can you help me? In the process of fertilization of human beings? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? So can we do can we do the process of fertilization with her? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Start. In humans, what happens? How does the sexual reproduction take place? What type of fertilization we have with human beings, Vita? Is it external or internal? Hello? What type of fertilization do we have in human? Is it internal or external? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Is it internal or external? Internal. Internal fertilization. So when human beings will get internal fertilization. What happens in internal fertilization? What does male release? Male release forms inside the female's body, isn't it? And then what happens? The sperms will float, will swim towards the ovum and fertilize it. Where does it fertilize with her? They fuse together in the oviduct or fallopian tube. And what do they form? After fertilization, what is formed? After fertilization, what is formed? Zygote. What is formed? Say with me. Hello? Yes, ma'am. After fertilization, what is formed? Zygote. Zygote. Fine. So, in the zygote, what actually is happening? When the zygote is formed, that means, what is this process? The nucleus of sperm fuses with the nucleus of ovum and they become single nucleus and that is called a zygote, right? Fertilization is over. Understood? And after fertilization, what happens? The zygote starts dividing and differentiating becomes a mass of cells, which is known as embryo. What it is known? Embryo. Then this embryo gets implanted in the uterus wall. Yes? And when the embryo develops, it becomes fetus. What it becomes? Fetus. When you can see the head and hands and legs of the baby, that, that's what you call it as a structure is called as fetus. Okay? Fine. Now, internal fertilization occurs where? Internal fertilization occurs where? Internal fertilization occurs where? 
in the female body outside the female body in male body or outside the male body in female body in female body very good thank you a tadpole develops into an adult frog by which process fertilization embedding budding metamorphosis 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 excellent very good brother the number of nuclei present in a zygote is none one two four two two in a zygote you got two nucleus you said two sperm and ovum right no but it is no, actually no 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 one exactly see do mistake then only you will understand don't worry about it see you did mistake then i said beta one is a sperm nucleus other is a ovum nucleus yes and then they fuse when they fuse it becomes one nucleus what do you say and that stage is called a zygote and after that that nucleus will start dividing and that will be called as embryo hope you have understood hello yes ma'am yes. yes now you understood you yourself corrected right you corrected yourself isn't it what you said no ma'am it is one because there's a fusion fertilization is what it is a fusion of sperm nucleus and the ovum nucleus and after fusion obviously we get one nucleus so what will the zygote How many nucleus we will have in zygote? Only one. One. Yeah. Now tell me whether the statements are true or false. Oviparous animals give birth to young ones. I repeat, oviparous animals give birth to young ones. What are oviparous animals? False. False. Hen. What I have told you, oviparous animals means you have to understand hen. Viviparous animals, you have to understand us, that is humans. So it becomes easy for you to give the answer. Each sperm is a single cell. True. True. True or false? True. 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 Very good. Each sperm is a how the ovum is a single cell. Same way, sperm is also a single cell. A new human individual develops from a cell called gamete. A new individual develops from where? First, you have to tell me what is a gamete. What is a gamete, Vita? What is a male gamete and what is a female gamete? Now you remember, male gamete is sperm. Female gamete is ovum or egg. Do you think from egg you get a new individual? From sperm you get a new individ individual. So from here you get a new individual. You get a new individual from the fusion of sperm and ovum. You agree with me? And what is that fusion called as? What is that fusion called as? What is it? Hello. What is it? Zygote. Are you there? Are you yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what is this called as? So, from where we get the baby, the new individual? Is it from sperm or ovum, or from the fusion of sperm and ovum? So, gamete is sperm or ovum. That is answer is right or wrong? False. False. Good. So we get the baby from the union of or the fusion of sperm and ovum. Understood? So that is zygote. So from where we get it? We get it from zygote. Eggs laid after fertilization is made up of single cell. True. 
it is true 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 why how can i say now this is you can see over here I'll show you now this is egg agree now these are those sperms can you see the sperms over here it is fertilizing now after fertilization egg name is the same it remains as one cell it remains the same the size remains the same isn't it it doesn't increase afterwards when it starts dividing then there is differentiation then there is a change but till the fertilization the egg cell does not change it remains the size remains the same understood or not yes okay fine so it is made up of a single cell amoeba reproduces by budding amoeba reproduces by budding if not then how does it reproduce which is the phenomena say false 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 so how does it reproduce then which asexual reproduction takes place in uh, amoeba asexual asexual reproduction which is that asexual reproduction what is the name of the asexual reproduction in amoeba what it is called as asexual reproduction what is that name name of the asexual reproduction what is it have you heard of uh, what do you call it as you had started with the what do you call it as Yeah. Is it is is called as what is the name? Can you read that with our own slide? It's binary fission. What is it? Hello. Can you hear me? What it is? binary fission what it is hello hello yes ma'am Yes, can you hear me? So, what is the uh, process? What is the name of this process? Beta is binary fission. What is the asexual reproduction? Binary fission in amoeba. Okay. An embryo is made up of a single cell. Hello. An embryo is made up of a single cell. No. Yes, no. ma'am. Good. It is no. Embryo is made up of many cells, right? Because it's a stage before fetus, right? Okay. Binary fission is a method of asexual reproduction. 
binary phasor is a method of asexual reproduction. Say. Hello. Um, question for you, Bolan. Binary fission is a method of asexual reproduction. Yes. Answer is yes. So binary fission is a type of asexual reproduction. Hope you are understanding my question. And my last question is: How can you define budding? What is budding? And where do you get it? Where do you observe it? What is budding, and where do you observe it? Hello. Hello, boys. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What is budding, beta? What is the meaning of budding? What is the definition of budding? Do you know or not? This is how it looks like. See, I just wanted to check, tell you. So, this is.